I think in some ways the Presbyterian Church has tried not to be complicit. I think the Confession of 1968 bears that out. I think the movement in areas such as racial ethnic justice at the national level and the availability of anti-racism training in this national denomination bears that out, but I think in many ways we are complicit. I see churches looking for pastors, and I see young African American men and women looking for churches, and the churches who are looking for pastors won't call them. And so they would rather be without a pastor than bring in someone that's unfamiliar. I see women still looking for pastors 50 years after the ordination of women, and churches looking for pastors who won't call women. So I think in many ways we are even hamstrung by the familiar. We are hamstrung by what we think the church ought to be based on what our mothers or our grandmothers or our great-grandmothers knew the church to be, rather than where God may be taking the church today. That's a whole other set of questions. I think today we have a hard time learning from our own history. We tend to think of slavery as something from our, our distant past in our country, something that maybe was from a, an era where people were quite different from ourselves or thought differently from ourselves. And yet today we are all very much complicit in contemporary forms of human slavery. We all participate in the purchase of goods and services that are produced on the backs of people who are essentially slaves in the developing world, people who are working in conditions that uh, are every bit as oppressive and every bit as, as uh, death-dealing as the institution of slavery might have been in our country um, at the time of the seminary graduates. And yet today, we purchase products, we don't ask ourselves um, how those products were manufactured, who it was that did the work, whether they were paid um, anything like a living wage, uh, whether they worked in safe working conditions, how many hours a week they were compelled to work, the age of the people that were doing the work. We choose to make ourselves ignorant of these things because in fact the unfamiliar is only unfamiliar because we choose for it to be. Our comfort with the familiar is something that we maintain by making ourselves unfamiliar with things that we really need to know. But the problem of course is that knowledge brings with, with it responsibility. And none of us really want to take responsibility for the decisions we're making that might, in fact, uh, be coming at a cost to people somewhere far away. We have to recognize that the information is, in fact, available to us, that we are in some way, consciously or unconsciously, making choices not to take advantage of that information for our own edification. If we want to know, we can know. So if you want to know about the working conditions of people in China, that information is right there. Uh, a quick keyword search on Google will pull up all the information you could possibly need, and yet we choose not to know. Yes, we uh, are all guilty by association, and um, uh, that we want to be uh, with uh, those who are captive uh, or those who are poor. Um, yet, uh, poor. And, and, and captive involuntarily uh, is, is different than the one who will be with them uh, voluntarily. God has given us a freedom to choose uh, wherever that we uh, uh, want to live and wherever God will send us to live. And, and that uh, may come into uh, our modern day challenge uh, here and how we provide our hospitality, how we also uh, learn from each other in, in, in spite of our uh, cultural differences. Um, and, and that uh, is an issue uh, that I, uh, as, as an immigrant um, experience in my life, coming to the United States in 14 years old, I see a lot of uh, people struggling coming into uh, um, a new culture. Uh, but on, on their issue is a, a voluntary, uh, uh, cross, voluntarily crossing over the boundaries. The crossing boundary may come in our issue, uh, in our ministry, and, and also uh, in our uh, 
uh, honest pursuit uh, to um, to learn from the past and and also uh, to live for the future um, in in God's kingdom and God's reign uh, that we are equal partners with one another.